You do really need a, a backup plan for Wi-Fi when you're remote working. I was in a situation earlier where the Wi-Fi in the hostel just cut. And if I hadn't planned beforehand for this situation, I would be in a stress right now thinking, right, I need to go and find some Wi-Fi. I need to go find strong, strong signal. I need to make a call. But what I did when I arrived here in Antalya in Turkey, on the first day, uh, it took an hour or two. I scouted two or three different places. I did a Wi-Fi speed test in the place, had a coffee, three coffees in uh, two hours, so <laughs> you get a bit jacked. Um, but that meant that every time I wanted to work, I knew that I had two or three backups for places I could go and actually get decent signal if I needed to. And so today when I needed to make a call, the Wi-Fi dropped out. I was fine. I just moved places. I already knew that the Wi-Fi was going to be good. I didn't have to get there and immediately move somewhere else because the signal wasn't strong enough. I knew full well that this signal was going to be absolutely fine. And it just takes all the stress out. So when you arrive in a new place, you know you're going to be there a little while. Take a little bit of time on the first day to go and find two or three other places. Do the Wi-Fi speed test. You can just Google Wi-Fi speed test and it should come up in the organic search results. Google has their own tool. You want to get 20 megabytes download and about five upload. That's more than enough to make a good call. You also want to try and find somewhere which is like quite quiet. A nice garden with a restaurant that's not too busy is ideal. And if you can slot yourself away, you probably also want to look for a plug socket because you don't want to be in the middle of a call and get the notification on your laptop battery level low. It's like very embarrassing if you're on a call and you have to say, sorry, I have to cut this early because I didn't plan my battery situation properly. When you first get to a place, find two or three places, Wi-Fi speed test, check for plug sockets, check for busyness. Just do a little bit of prep work and save yourself so much stress. If you like this, subscribe. I also written a guide for remote working. If you want it, you can find it in the description below. It just talks about what you need to look for in a remote job and a couple of places where you can actually go and find one. And a bit of the philosophy around why you'd actually want to do this. See you next time.